Oh okay, here we've got uh, Starship Troopers Extermination being played on Xbox Series X. Courtesy of uh, Val PR, I want to thank them very much for the review opportunity. I've covered this previously on PC, I believe it was, quite a while ago. And I'm excited to be able to check it out here on the Xbox Series X because it performs a heck of a lot better than it did on my PC back when I reviewed it initially. So, this is unfamiliar. This is a pretty cool uh, first person shooter. So, you've got the main missions here, which these are multiplayer, multiplayer missions you can do. So, you've got, uh, you have um, advanced to secure, so capture territories. Uh, for the Federation to build a foothold on the planet, you actually build a base, which is kind of cool. Then you've got uh, Horde mode here, where it's just fortify your defenses and just hold out as long as you can. Uh, and then you've got the solo uh, missions here, so these are single player missions. So you just go through the story and help Rico here. Uh, and then you've got uh, Lactic Front. This is another aspect of multiplayer where you have to actually join a squad before you can actually get into the fight. So this this really reminds me of Helldivers where you have to work together collectively to exterminate the, the infestation uh, or liberate the planet. So that's kind of cool that they've got two different um, aspects here. you got loadouts, those are your loadouts. Some of your standard uh, first-person shooter uh, online games. You your profile here, so these are your stats. Your company, if you have a, if you have a company, but you can send a request to companies. So I've already sent a request or two, um, and I'm waiting for them to accept. If they accept me, then I can go ahead and join the Galactic Front and take these take these bad bugs out. So go ahead and do just the uh, solo multiplayer solo game here. So when you start a game, you have the option of choosing to be a guardian, uh, a, a demolisher, a ranger, or a medic. I prefer a ranger. I have to change my class right now. Oh, okay, I don't have the option of being a ranger yet. I thought I did. Apparently it unlocks eventually, but um, we'll go ahead and go with a uh, Assault Directional to uh, Let's see, we'll do... Oh, well, okay, well. I think I accidentally uh, hit continue here on accident. I thought I hit cancel, but apparently not. Okay, so we're going in, I guess, as a uh, demolisher. So here we go. <laughs> But the cool thing is you have you have NPCs to work with, which is nice. But you just have to get from point A to point B and survive. Exterminate the gunners. So they're 500 meters away. At least the... Um, oh, oops. Well, hello. At least your objective is. Uh, I love how relentless the bugs are. Um, <laughs> it definitely gives you like a sense of fear, <laughs> especially in the dark. Uh, the gun plays nice. The guns handle really well. Your NPCs aren't stupid, which is really nice. I love that fact. I love my grenade here. My grain grenade. Launcher. Here we go. You guys got him. The environments are just beautiful. Um, they really make you feel like you're on an alien planet. <laughs> it's just so cool. I didn't get all of them. Oh, no, I did. Cool. Go what, three of them? <laughs> but yeah, I, I love the base building aspect of it. Um, I, the first person mechanics are great. 
you fill my ammo and press on. I also think this is this is a game that really kind of um, <laughs> really kind of works from fear instill fear um, and yeah, I mean I haven't seen okay I'm gonna, oh I'm back again I should not have taken this in here I should take it at a better um, better loadout but I last survived that. But like I said, I don't think I've ever been I don't think I've ever been as scared playing a first person shooter <laughs> um, as this aside from when, you know, Halo 2 and the flood came about. But this game really is kind of kinda of trippy and kinda of, kinda of scary. But in a good way, you know. Um, this is what I think Alien Isolation no 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 that's not Alien Isolation, excuse me. The uh, Alien Fire Team game I, I, I covered a while back. Um, this is what that should have been. Um, instilling fear uh, India as you battle against the alien um, bad guys. Uh, this game really does a great job of that. Okay, so I gotta. Keep going here. But yeah, graphics are great. This is on performance mode. So it's, it's, it performs really well in performance mode. Um, I could change this to quality. Let's actually go ahead and do that just to show you guys the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and go to quality. And so now. The game looks better, but it definitely takes a hit on how fluid the game plays. I don't, in fact, I don't, I don't know how anybody can actually sit here and play this game like this, because this is not a great experience. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and change it back right now. Because... Yeah, performance-wise, it plays a heck of a lot better. I mean, maybe you can recently if you play to get it, like, on quality mode initially. But going from performance mode to quality mode, it's like night and day. <laughs> it's just not going to be a great experience for you. Okay, so I gotta keep going down. Whoa. They're firing. I was gonna go around, but I don't think I can. Whoa. Okay, so now. Yeah, so I thought we... Okay, we did it. Okay, as I thought. So yeah, this is uh, Starship Troopers uh, Exterminators Extermination. Wonderful game. Uh, tons of fun to be had with this. Angle, either single player or multiplayer. Either way, you're going to have a ton of fun. If you like Starship Troopers, you like Hell Divers, pick this game up. It's great. Um, I want to thank Bob PR very much for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time, take care and have a gaming.